Hey YouTube, in this video I will just show you how Android 4.4.2 runs on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch before you install Android on your Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. So if you are having any problem with Android 4.4.2, uh, please watch my video that shows how to fix problems, any problem that you might have or if you, you might not know of the problem, just watch that video and yeah, you should be able to fix most of the problem that you have. So I'll just show you how 4.4.2 Android runs on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. First let's go to uh, settings and show you that this is indeed running Android 4.4.2. So if I go to about tablet, uh, you will see that this is running Android 4.4.2. So the first thing you probably will do is change the wallpaper. By the way, this is not the default wallpaper. You can do that by going to settings and display and then that should and then uh, wallpaper and then you will see a uh, bunch of different section so I'm gonna go to just wallpaper and here you go here you can see a lot of different wallpapers and there is CM wallpaper also so anyway so let's just go to Varge because I showed you guys how Varge runs on the Android 4.2 and Android 4.3 so let's just go to the Varge.com so let's go here and then let's go to the Varge Com. It's very smooth. As you guys can see, I can type and it will register right away. So let's look at Vart. It runs very smoothly. That yeah, it runs very smoothly. I probably should have showed you how the Vart runs on the default Kindle Amazon OS uh, browser. It runs. It just cannot run. You can't scroll like this. This is super smooth compared to how it is uh, on the default browser that comes with the Kindle OS. So as you guys can see, it runs very smoothly. Let's go to my Blogspot website. So if you go to tech that interest dot blogspot dot com. So here, as you guys can see here, here's my video, how to fix some of the problems. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I was referring you to. If you are having any problems, you can check my website out. It should be in the description. If I click on YouTube, yeah. Uh, you can just select, let's just select Google Chrome. It will open up my YouTube channel page. Let's just click always on here, not tap always. This is how it runs. Uh, let's see if I can get to the desktop site. In Chrome, I can do this right here. By clicking here, let's zoom in a bit so it's more focused. And if I click on, if I tap on request a desktop site, it will load in uh, YouTube desktop. It actually loaded youtube.com, not my channel page. As you guys can see, I have 133 subscriber now, and it will be interesting. I think I showed how many subscriber I have on the Android 4.3 running on the Kindle for HD 7 inch. I had, I think, I had like 33 subscriber back then, but now I have 133. That's pretty crazy that I have gained that many subscribers after making the after making this video which is how to install Android 4.4 on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. So let's check some other stuff out. So one of the problems that I was not able to fix was HW decoder. So if I pause the video and then let the Kindle go to sleep or put the Kindle to sleep, the Kindle will not be able to play any HD video anymore or most videos anymore. So yeah, that still exists. I haven't found a solution if you guys found a solution please uh, leave a comment or tweet me which is take that interest without the T that's my Twitter handle so let's just check other stuff out so let's check out Google now or Google voice search how tall is Eiffel Tower As you the can. Eiffel Tower is 1,000. And it will say it to me how tall this Eiffel Tower is. So that's pretty cool. And now you can actually just do this. Okay, Google. How tall is Obama? Barack Obama is six feet one inch tall. So you can just say, okay, Google. And then uh, the Google Voice search will start working. I'm pretty sure Flappy Bird is on the Amazon store also, but. Uh, let's go this way. Let's play it. Let's try to get like two or something. Oh, let's play it again. I will try to show you some other games. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop playing because this is not a flappy bird video. I'm just gonna get annoyed and stop the video. So there's Netflix. The Netflix, the quality of Netflix video will be actually better in Android because of Amazon. Amazon has their own service and they don't want you to use uh, Netflix. Even though they do have Netflix app on the Amazon App Store, uh, that that app will only run in. Uh, 480p not HD 720p like this app the Android uh, the Android Netflix app can it can run in HD and the quality is, you can actually tell the difference and as you guys can see the app kind of looks a bit different you can see more stuff anyway let's check uh, let's check other stuff let's check let's see what other game I have I don't have that many games Check out YouTube and play videos. I'm gonna probably check out my channel because I don't want any copyright strikes or stuff like that. Let's check out a video on my channel. Let's check out. Go to videos. Let's check out this video. Now I'll show you how it runs. What's up, guys? In this video, I'll show you how to fix some of the. Anyway, yeah. Watch. Check out this video. Uh, look at let's look at the quality and the YouTube video quality it's also a little bit better so I wanted to show you guys other app and one of the glitch in Android 4.4 is that thing as you guys can see I can't really see the the whole title of the the app which kind of sucks but so let's ta download another app and show you how that goes so let's go to let's try a game out and then go to top free and then let's just get a game. So I, I'm not gonna get Candy Crush. Let's get Temple Run too. That might be fun. They have more than 100 million downloads. That's pretty amazing. So let's just try that out. So it's currently downloading. If I look at the notification, that's how you uh, check out notification. So if I go on the left, it will come up with the notification. If I uh, pull it up from the right, uh, the settings will pop up. So that's that's different I guess still so I can just get rid of the notification by just sliding to the right and check out <sighs> Temple Run this display is uh, the resolution of this display is 1280 by 800 which is perfect because you can have that and then it becomes I think 720p it's not the like not like a graphics demanding game but uh, I know it runs better than how it runs on the iPad 1 because I've tried it and it sucks. The frame rate, like right now I know I'm getting more than 30 frame rate, that's for sure. And it's probably capped at 30, so. Slide down. And slide down right here. Slide down. There you go. I'm having some problem. I'm just gonna skip it. Anyway, guys, I don't know what else to show you. I, I'll show you something else. Maybe, maybe let's see what I can show you. So this is how you access the multitasking thing. So if I have multiple things open, there we go. I have YouTube open, and then if I go home, I can uh, swipe it out like this, left or right, and that will cross out YouTube. Anyway guys, I hope this was convincing enough for you to install Android OS on your Kindle Fire HD. It is super smooth like I said. Anyway guys, thank you for watching.